What's going on everybody, this is Super Nintendo Mike here, and welcome back to some more Fortune Street. In the last episode, it was probably the last, bleh, 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 bleh. It was, pro <laughs> it was probably the best episode so far because I got back in the game. As you can see right here, I spruced up this and got more stocks. We had some buyouts go on left and right, so I sold a shop up here, got some money, and I got bought out once or twice, I think. I think once, but I got a good amount of money out of that buyout, so. Yeah, we're rolling in the, in the dough right now. As soon as I say that, it's gonna be something bad. Ooh. Um. That's a club over there. Okay. Um. Or okay, um, hmm. I don't know what I mean. It's a weird board for that kind of card. I get another card, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna weird spot. You can buy any unowned. I mean, I guess. Sure. Just have a little safety net over there again, I guess. Why didn't he go up? He would have landed on the 29 or 55, I think. Why did he go up? He must be the C-rated AI, I'm guessing. Because, why did he do that? Like... Whose was that? Whose property was that? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I think it was Luigi's? It was either Luigi or Waluigi's. I don't think it was mine. It might have been. I don't think I own two up there. Hmm. That was pretty interesting. So many buyouts in this game. Wow. Nothing. Nobody has won anything around the block set. I know someone's gonna get 777 eventually. But a lot of arcade games, too, this game. Since I landed on it, I can go wherever I want. Uh, sure. I, I, I'll skip the 490. That's fine with me. <laughs> Spruce up this guy over here. Whoa. Whoa. Eh. Hmm. Keep forgetting you can do A and B. <laughs> well, the max capital went up. Whoa. Well, these two are unavoidable. So I should probably spruce up this, this guy right here. Oh, yeah. Rolling in the dough. Here we go. Look at, all, look at that stock increase. Woo. We're, we're edging second place here. And, and first. I mean, I think these buyouts are going to cost Mario the game, to be honest, because you can avoid these shops that he's buying. He's going to buy that out. Guarantee. Guarantee. It's super cheap. I probably should have boosted that one. No, really? He must be running low on stock, because I thought for sure he would have bought that out. What was Luigi? Oh, does he have one more in his roll? Please tell me he has one more in his roll. He did that so quick I couldn't see it. Please, 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 please. No, he gets to choose where he goes. Ah, oh, man, I hope he gets a, a two next turn. And he goes left, please. Okay, 74. 74! Shout outs to the kids who know that reference. That card was pretty much, you can buy out any property you want for five times the amount, and the owner's decision, like, you can, you can choose to buy out a property anytime you want, 
But you need the owner's permission first in order to buy it out. So I'll, sh I'll show you an example right here on my turn. So let's say I wanted to, have to go to manage shops, buy a shop. Say if I wanted this, I can give them an amount and you see the multiplier right there. So if you really want a guaranteed against an AI, then just go five times. Or you could actually cheap out and see if you could uh, get it for less. Which, speaking of that, I might actually want to do that on this property. So let's let's go for three times and see if he if he if he nudges. Because I've seen most of the time you need at least four times to convince an AI, but let's see if we can cheap out in three times. <laughs> he knows I have a monopoly. That's the thing. Oh, that's funny. Roll an H. Okay. Gee, I wonder which way I'm gonna go. I, I like this path that I take. You go up to the heart and then you go up and around orange, orange District, past the blue pipe, get the club, and then get the diamond again. I like that, that path. I think it's the quickest, to be honest. Or you could do the other way around by going right. Ooh, Luigi's in trouble if he gets a one. Ooh, good news for me. I mean, if I can pull second out of this game, that would be pretty impressive for all of the loopholes I've had to gone through. That would be pretty impressive, and I'll accept that. But if I get third or fourth, it, I mean, it's whatever. But I'm pretty sure I would have gotten third or... I would get third or fourth if I didn't buy out any properties, because I had no choice. Ooh. The arcade. Memory... And then it's the Dart of Gold, and then it's Slurper Drome, and then it goes back to around the blocks. We got 60G. So your self card would would have been, I guess, okay on this board. I mean, I think two of them would would be amazing, but yeah, that's yeah, it's fine. It's only 116. It's okay. It's not too bad. It's not a triple digit. <laughs> and it's not like three, four hundred. I'll take it. It's fine. Oh, you dodged it. But he's gonna have to come back to it because... Yeah, he has to come back to it. Because he missed the club. Oh, what a... Oh, man. He's investing in Waluigi District. Wow, he spent the big bucks over there. Jeez. Mario's going to the bank. See, this is why I wish I had that Waluigi property in my district, in District A, because then they wouldn't go back to the bank. I would guarantee it because, oh, nice. 120, I think it was. Um, I've played games with AI where if you own properties near the bank, they will avoid it like the plague. And my voice is getting kind of hoarse right now. Oh, you douchebag. I he did that out of spite. He did that out of spite. Yep. He wants more money out of that buyout. Hence why he... Ooh, nice. Hence why he charged the 14 times multiplier. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good amount of money. I know exactly where to put that. Uh, maybe I should go in Mario's district. I don't know. Mm, thinking about it. Well, that's all my money. Can't do that. Mm, but, uh... Um. Let's at least get it up. Does it go by two times no matter what? Oh, would you look at that? I'm only gonna pay ten. That's it. <laughs> and it's gonna increase even more from me sprucing this up. Oh, no more capital. That's it, really? And that too? Okay. Let's do it. So unfortunately, I can't spruce up any more until I buy out that, Wa that Waluigi property. Ooh, we almost eclipsed first place. Oh, we are right here. Yep. Oh, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. We have ourselves a Fortune Street game right here. 
<laughs> Hot diggity dog. With about five minutes to spare in the video. Yeah, I think the next video will be the finale. I mean, if they land on one of my properties, a level up should do it. I think a level up would do it. But we're going to see how this plays out. Because I don't think Waluigi will win from a level up. So as long as everybody can avoid Waluigi's district, he won't win. He won't win. It's it's going to come down to me and Mario, I bet. Because, because of Walu Waluigi only owning Waluigi Island. <laughs> that sounded weird. Uh, Slurpodrome, I, I think I would have first pick. But... I'm gonna chance the the card. Heart of the cards. Half price special. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. Four. Ooh, the one property that's mine. You know what? I should spruce it up in case Mario boosts. Yeah, I probably should because I can't spruce over here anymore. No reason to spruce there or up there. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. He has no stock here, so you know, what, Mario, if you want that, you're gonna have to pay. A good chunk of change. And I bet he's going to, but at the same time, I don't know, because... I think his money's just stock, and I don't think he'd want to sell it, and plus he's gonna go right through my district in a moment. Let's see what he gets. I think he landed on... He had... Oh, he had a two, I think. No, he just avoided it. He's at age 8k. Oh. But if he gets a 3, then I just need to get a level up. I mean, even a 2, I think, would give me a, uh, the win no matter what. Because you have to get 10,000 before landing on the bank, I think. So I would actually, never mind. I would have to loop around one more time, but... If I land on the bank, I would just go to the right. Probably. Oh, we got one of the, the special characters, Heel Slime. So what he does is he collects suits for you around the board. So that's actually pretty bad that Waluigi got him. So he'll collect the heart and the the spade for him. Five. Gee, I wonder. Da da da. Uh, no reason to spruce up, actually. Only two shops I can spruce, and that's it. He's not gonna get that much money. <laughs> Three shops. He's hanging in there. Oh, are you kidding me? No. He doesn't have... He doesn't... He didn't spruce? Wow. Dang, he must have only stocks. Buy it out, Waluigi. Buy it out, buy it out. Please, 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 please. Aw. What's Heel Slime gonna do? He's gonna collect that suit. Oh no, he didn't go down. I'm surprised. Huh. Whatever. Uh, I think this video's gonna be a couple minutes short, but I think it's a good place to stop. Yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I've been Super Nintendo Mike here, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.